Well, so this is all in uh, a short walking distance from the GO station. We got off the GO station, walked to Lakeshore, turned right, and uh, the pub was right there, just a few streets down, I believe. And then we crossed the road south of the pub to come to this park. Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Today, we're taking a day trip on the go to Port Credit. Let's go. We have an information map as well. And this is the uh, main station hub. It's usually platform one. We didn't verify, but you can always go in. They have screens to verify. Places to put garbage. All right, so we're just waiting for the train now. I see one in the distance, but I think that's the one that left going to Oshawa. We're looking towards going to Union and then onwards to Fort Credit. As we are warning, yeah. and the danger is real. For votre sécurité, celle des personnes qui vous entourent. Time to board. And it's quite a full train. It is uh, 11 o'clock as well. When we get to Port Credit, we'll go for lunch and bring you guys along as well. Bye-bye, Danforth Station. Next stop is Union Station. Door stop at Union. This train will continue westbound, making all station stops to Aldershago. Remember to dispose of or take your garbage off the train when you leave. Leaving trash is a no-go. Please keep our trains clean. Thank you. Station. So we just arrived at Union Station and uh, after a short stop we're heading west. We're heading west. Lakeshore West Train. My name is Patrick, your customer service ambassador. Speaking to you from the accessibility coach number 2516. Our first 
first stop is Exhibition. And this is Exhibition Station. And we're off again. Leaving Exhibition, next stop is Mimico. Alright, so we just arrived at Mimico Station. So we just left Mimico and heading to Long Branch. We just arrived at Long Branch. We're leaving Long Branch and heading to Port Credit. Alright, so we are arriving at Port Credit. This is where we get off. We just arrived at Port Credit. We are gonna exit the station. And it's 11.41 so we're probably gonna get something to eat. We'll bring you guys along for that. We checked out the area quickly and uh, there's a lot of Italian places here so we might get something Italian. So this is Port Credit Go Station. Place for you to lock up your bikes. Like I said before, um, we only just quickly checked out the area on Google Maps. Um, we are going to get something to eat and that's, we'll, uh, that's where we'll bring you guys back. So it's a little bit more chillier here in Port Credit. We checked the weather and it's supposed to go up to, I think, high teens. Maybe even hit 20 degrees. Uh, that was in Toronto. We didn't check the weather here in Port Credit. But uh, I think the wind comes more off the lake here. So it's a little bit more cooler. And we're just walking to this Main Street. I'm not sure in the name of the... Uh, could be Lakeshore. But we're going to try and find a uh, place to eat. We just hit Lakeshore... Lakeshore Boulevard. This is the main uh, main strip, um, and then we're gonna check for some uh, food place. So we're just gonna walk down the street, see what we can see. And so there's a burger place. There's a Tim Hortons. this place they have a lunch special chicken donair box so we're at elizabeth lakeshore and elizabeth there's a guncha across the road i don't know if that will fill us up though pharmacy i'll pick a place called scoops ice cream store okay, so across the street we have bombay to go indian kitchen uh 55 door 55 Looks like a, uh, a restaurant, Eve's Original, an Italian place. We have Savlaki Hut, a Greek place, Burger Factory. Across the street here, we have a uh, Pump House Grill. This is the place I think we're going. Looks like a pub type place. It's open. They have happy hour from 3 to 5. Let's check this place out. We decided to go to the pub for some pub food. So this is the menu if you're interested. This is their brunch menu. I think uh, chicken and waffles is the one we're gonna go with. Just came back from dinner, just had dinner right here at this pub. It was really good. We had the chicken and waffles. 
is probably one of the best, if not the best, chicken and waffles that I had. Um, I've had chicken and waffles a few times here in Toronto, different places, and uh, also in Florida. Uh, Florida chicken waffles is pretty amazing. Uh, but this one with the bacon was uh, it was really good. Yeah, the service here was uh, was really good as well. It's it's a uh, it's a fine balance in between not having enough service and having too much service when they're constantly checking on you. And this was this was perfect. They uh, I guess they watch the tables, so uh, they have a better understanding of when uh, when people are in need of service. Exploring time. Credit Village Harbor Marina. We'll walk around here a bit. Help, uh, help digest. Digest the food. So this is like right across the road. If you exit the pub and come across the road, there's this beautiful area to walk around in. This is what you, uh, what you see at the docks. It looks pretty empty here, so I'm guessing a lot of boats is out. Looks like you can also book as well. There's a, uh, a barcode on this boat that you can uh, book a demo. That's pretty cool. Rent a yacht. It's a really beautiful harbor. Lots of places to uh, sit as well. Have some kayakers. Might be too wide of an angle to see those, but yeah. So this goes into the marina here. This also looks like a, a river going up through. So there's a guy on the uh, stand-up paddleboard. He's got a short sleeve dress shirt on. So uh, anyone, if you're looking to go to work, stand-up paddleboard. You don't have to dress for the water, you can dress for work. Yeah. We have a yacht coming out there as well. That's really cool. Yeah, that's super cool. My balance is not that good, so I would not wear that because I would be in the water. And I'd need a life jacket because I can't swim. But here's a yacht. If you do want to book a yacht, you have to get a captain or have your license. You require a license here in Ontario, your boating license. So if you do want to go out on a, on a boat, motorized uh, boat, you need a license. Uh, for kayaks and stand-up paddle boards, you don't need a license. You do have to have the proper gear though. There is a list of gear that you have to have if you have a small craft as well. Right, let's keep walking. This is a beautiful area. The, uh, the wind is a little bit more chillier here though. Here you haven't noticed the people fishing. Boaters have the right of way. Which makes sense. It's easier to not cast than it is to not boat. This is a really nice park as well. So this is all in uh, a short walking distance from the GO station. We got off the GO station, walked to Lakeshore, turned right, and uh, the pub was right there, just a few streets down, I believe. And then we crossed the road south of the pub to come to this park. So if you're looking for a day trip um, outside of Toronto, Port Credit, get yourself a $10 one-day weekend pass. Head over to Port Credit. Check out the, the chicken and waffles at the pub. And then go for a nice little walk. Digest everything here in this beautiful park. There's also the park on the other side. This is a great time of year because you get the, uh, the colors changing, all the foliage.
Very romantic. <laughs> yeah, here's the history of the lighthouse in this area. One thing I do like about uh, Toronto, Ontario tourism, they do a pretty good job at uh, at giving you like history and stuff like that, a different history of the areas. Over there, I don't know if you could see, is the old rusted ship. I don't know if it went to ground there or if uh, that's where they decommissioned it. And far off in the distance there, you probably can't see, is Toronto. We can just barely make out the CN Tower through the uh, through the haze or the the fog. And then you have some ducks. There's the ship over there on the right. I don't know if it was it went ashore there or if it was put there after it was decommissioned. But it's a cool, uh, cool feature of the area. I'm looking back onto Port Credit as we head back. So this is the park. This is the park that we just uh, we came from. We went over this way, so we uh, we didn't see the sign. But it's a beautiful park. Just down from the uh, down from the pub, we've seen uh, places like this in past videos. It's when the the city takes ugly stuff that they have to have and make it nicer. We're heading back to Lakeshore, Lakeshore Boulevard East. Yeah, seen the uh, fancy Corvette and the Berg rental scooters. I didn't realize Bird was in uh, was in Ontario. It's so right there. You have uh, looks like a really cool old house, and there's one similar beside it. But it looks like they're going to be turned into condos. So this is a little bit of a history. This is what this area looked like before the 22-story condo building went in. It's like a pretty old, old place. Yeah. That's what the property is right now. And this is what they wanted to go to. So we're heading back to the GO station. The GO station is just up ahead. However, it looks like we're gonna miss the train. I don't know if you can see that there. The GO train is already stopped, so there's no, no chance we'll be able to run to get it. We'll have to get the next one. One of the benefits of having the, uh, the day pass is it doesn't matter if you missed your train, as long as it's not the last train that you missed. All right, with that said, thank you for joining us on this adventure. And don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. I'll see you on our next adventure.